Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2019 video tutorial. The last one in the series, I want to do that dome with bricks exercise in AutoCAD. And it went quite well. So let's have fun with AutoCAD. Let's start with a circle at zero, zero and radius might be 100. Then go for a surface, extrude, select that circle, right click, enter, and in that direction maybe 50. Switch, let's switch that surface to a different layer and hide the sketch for a moment okay now I want to use a patch select the edge of the surface right click enter go for continuity change it to G1 and change the bulge magnitude to 0 0.5 9 enter and I've got a nice little dome move this one to layer 0 and hide layer 0 now I need some surfaces to trim that surface so we we'll go for lines let's switch sketches layer and keep it on let's draw a line from minus 200 column 0 in that direction make it 400 Okay, and then make an extrude with that line, right click, enter, up right this, and turn it with a copy. Go to home, I will turn it with this one because it's in the, it's in the XY plane. So rotate with this one, right click at zero, zero, enter continue right click copy and the angle should be minus 18 degrees now I can trim let's go for trim I want to trim this surface right click enter with that one right click and I want to remove that part of my surface enter repeat that command, trim that surface, right click with this one and remove this part of the surface. Now let's move those two surfaces to layer 0 so they're hidden. Yes. Now I need the edges of that surface so go for solid extract edges select that surface right click then hide the surfaces delete that edge curve now let's rotate our axis system around the x-axis by 90 degrees Come over here sorry back to 2D wireframe. Now I need another line which I will draw from this point over here and I want to pattern that. So go to home, go for a 
path array, select that line, right click, select the path curve, this one, and now I want to divide that one by six. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, yes, and close that array. I sort up my lines which I can rotate so it would be nice to extend those lines but as it's a array I can do it so we'll have to where is it modify explode the array right click and then I should be able to extend these I will need a line which goes from 0, 0 up to that point, for example. Now I should be able to extend it. Go to Extend, select this one as Target, and make these longer. Great. Now let's go back to our world coordinate system and make surface revolves so let's switch to maybe that layer go to revolve I want to revolve this one this one this one and that one right click enter and the axis would be 0, 0 up to that end point. And I want to go in that direction. This should be minus 25. Let's go for minus 25 and see what happens. Looks good. Now let's show our surface. Okay, I want to thicken that surface, so maybe switch to a different layer to this one, and go to solid, thicken, thicken this one, right click, and this should be minus 10. Yeah, great. Pick it and move it to that layer right here. Great. Let's hide our green layer, the surface layer, and maybe the sketches as well. Now I want to slice that body with these surfaces. So go for slice. I want to slice that solid. Right click with this right click surface. Right click, keep both sides. Repeat with command with that surface. So go for surface. Right click, keep both sides. Repeat that command. Select the remaining body. Right click, right click, surface. That one. Right click, keep both sides. And repeat that command and right click right click surface this one right click keep both sides so let's hide the orange surfaces great and now i can do with these five solids a pattern go for home go for circular or polar array select those right click zero zero enter and i need 20 instances and close that array and i'm done so let's switch to realistic or shaded with edges I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. 
please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cat fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well so thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye